and it's open game on what's going to happen next. Yeah, it was interesting. The guy who was there from the BLM, I believe his name was Dan Love, he actually had a sign on him that said police, but he didn't have the sign underneath it that had fallen off that said state. And, you know, when we were talking, to, actually, I, I got footage of uh, Ammon, one of the sons of Clive and Bundy. And when he got finished and the sheriff was up there, uh, he said to the sheriff, he said, we will listen to you. You have authority here. And then he looked at that guy and he said, you have no authority here. And he doesn't. He's just a hired mercenary from the BLM. This is goes back to what you've been pointing out. And InfoWars has been pointing out for a long time, Paul. When you were talking about the billions of bullets and you were linking to the documents and we were talking about how... The Department of Education is even creating SWAT teams. Uh, the Weather Service is creating SWAT teams. The increasing police state that we see at every bureaucracy, and of course they write their own laws, they judge whether or not you're in violation of their own laws, you don't have a presumption of innocence, and then they send their militarized police force against you. You've been writing about this, and people have been pushing, about that, uh, pushing back about that for a long time. We've been writing about it for the best part of a decade because, yeah. of course, the Defense Department sold all those armored vehicles that they'd used in Afghanistan to local police departments, which were bought with Homeland Security grants. Yes. So everything that they used against terrorists in Afghanistan, they're now using against the American people. Another aspect to it, you mentioned the police state, is the rampant hypocrisy on behalf of the left of either ignoring or enthusiastically supporting state brutality when it's meted out against Americans who may hold differing views to themselves. Because if you followed the conversation on this, obviously with the leftist media, media matters, slate, websites such as those, they're dead set against Bundy. They're classifying everyone as right-wing extremists, and it's being picked up by their acolytes to the point where I'm having conversations with people on Twitter who are calling for Bundy supporters to be, quote, shot on the spot. Mm -hmm. They're calling for belligerent protesters to be executed with drone strikes. So it's just galling how, for example, we saw with Occupy Wall Street, the protesters getting pepper sprayed in the face directly. I mean, we rose up to their defense. Uh, Occupy Wall Street protesters targeted by snipers, or yes. there, were, there was at least a plan to do that. Yes. And Those the left is outraged, and rightly so. Yes. But when it happens to people who may be a little different in their political views, they support state brutality. So that's a major problem. The statists simply do not see that the tyranny is being imposed on everyone. And if they stand on the opposite side to us, then, you know, if we, if we don't hang together, then we hang separate. The inability to extrapolate it to the larger principles and the blindness that comes from being manipulated by their individual prejudices against these other groups. And I've seen every label in, that you could put on the Bundy family or the protesters, I've seen those labels put on as a way of building hate. And one of the key organizations at the center of that is the Southern Poverty Law Center. This is an organization that has a mail order business model that sends out letters and, and uh, findings to the federal government to essentially set up and create hate for individual groups. That's what they're all about. It, it's a hate industry and yes. they get huge grants from governments to continue their existence. They need to continue to escalate the so-called threat posed by hate crime and violent right-wing extremists, which does exist, but certainly nowhere near to the level that they amp it up to. And it's you can see with their supporters that they were actually excited at the prospect of Bundy supporters getting gunned down, some of them. And they were crushingly yeah. disappointed when it didn't happen. So the hypocrisy, again, is rampant. And another angle was this idea of Bundy is sponging off the state. He's engaging in complete lawlessness. A ton of leftists took that stance. And yet they support millions of illegal immigrants who do exactly the same thing. So again, yes. they don't have any actual principles. They just selectively apply them based on whether they agree with you politically or not. One of the things that bothered me in this entire narrative was the confusion about property rights. What, were, what was property? Now, a lot of people have a very simple understanding of property rights to just be, let's say, you know, you own everything in this little squared off area. But here in Texas, a lot of times when you buy a house, you don't get the mineral rights. You don't, those don't convey. And what the Bundys had were surface rights. They had grazing rights. They had water rights. They never claimed to own the land. 
Now, they did say that they believe that that land should rightfully under the Constitution have been ceded to the state authority at the time it became a state. And he was talking about how, as we've seen with uh, Stockman, they did not have the legal authority to be there as a police force. But we need to understand that these property rights have been well established with uh, with previous court cases. As a matter of fact, it was just last year. Another case that started back in 1993, Kit Daniels wrote about this yesterday, and a federal judge in making that decision last, uh, it was either June or July, said that the BLM had engaged in a criminal conspiracy against ranchers. Now this all began in 1993. They tried to deny his grazing rights, his water rights, exactly the same things that were going on here in this particular place. And you know, if you've got property rights on your home and the federal government and you're paying taxes to the county and the federal government comes in at some point in time and says you don't have those rights anymore we're just going to take them which is what they did with these ranchers you're 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 going to be facing exactly the same thing people need to broaden their perspectives we've got to go to break we're going to be right back with paul joseph watson stay tuned You've heard about the lowest price promise at Emergency Essentials. But did you know, right now, you can save $100 on a Catadyne Pocket Micro Water Filter? While supplies last, get 40% off a personal emergency kit, 43% off Red Feather Butter, and 46% off the Victoria Hand Grain Mill. And don't forget, you can save over $250 on the year's supply of basics. Call Emergency Essentials at 800-999-1863 or visit BePrepared.com. The choice is clear. Be unprepared or BePrepared.com. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? They've been available since 1986, yet the financial industry won't recognize the value of gold for your retirement. Gold has outperformed paper investments, yet no word about IRAs. If you would like to have gold for your retirement, call 800-686-2237. Don't get left behind by rising inflation and low returns. Call 800-686-2237. Secure your future and call 1-800-686-2237. Hi there, my name is Frank Bates. What I'm about to tell you in the next 60 seconds could get me in a lot of trouble. I just created a free video presentation at 123coverup.com that exposes the electricity monopolies and government agencies for what they really are, incompetent, lying crooks that are counting on your ignorance and fear to keep your power bills criminally high. Some have called this a conspiracy. Others have called it a cover-up, and you will be shocked to find out how deep the conspiracy goes. My video at 123coverup.com exposes the truth and shows you the secret of how I beat them and how you can beat them too. Watch the controversial video that thousands of other smart patriots have already seen in the last three months. Go to 123coverup.com and discover one weird trick to slash your power bill and protect your home. Go watch my video now at 123coverup.com before they force me to shut it down. Again, that's 123coverup.com. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight, and I have Paul Joseph Watson, Memphis Wars Wars in England on the phone. We've been talking about the stories that he broke yesterday about Harry Reid calling people who are leading a peaceful protest against the police state tactics and brutality that have been going on at the Nevada Ranch for quite some time. He called those peaceful protesters domestic terrorists, and he repeated that for emphasis and we've just been talking about how the media is joining in on that narrative. We got Reuters uh, talking about these poor uh, 
federal agents who were set upon by an angry armed mob. That is not what happened. We have footage there. You can see what people are doing, even as they're calmly walking up to the gate. It has been spun by Glenn Beck to say, well, those people at the gate, they were trying to start an incident. They were, they were going to get everybody shot. That wasn't happening. We showed you the video. We were there. I was there. Josh Owens was there. We took the video. We've put it up. It should put the critics to rest, but now they're escalating this. Now Harry Reid has picked up on Glenn Beck's narrative, and now, he's, and now we've got a Homeland Security Advisor, Lisa Monaco. This is another story Paul wrote about saying that any children with confrontational behavior might become terrorists. Now, Paul, uh, they just handed me an article that showed, um, it was a quote, um, and they, it was a, a very favorable article about her in the Boston Globe, and they said, unmarried and without children, Monaco is incredibly dedicated to her work, according to those who know her. Well, they may know her, but she doesn't know anything about children, does she? Well, exactly, and again, it's, it, you played the Melissa Harris Perry thing yes. just before I came on. It's about this idea that the community should watch and be suspicious of everybody's children and that the parents have no rights. So it's a dual purpose propaganda tactic. They say they lament the fact that government can't watch everybody's children all the time. So now the onus is on the parents to do so. And then you see laws being passed in places like Scotland where state minders are assigned to children from birth to yes. watch for any signs of abuse. Again, it's, it's cradle to grave tyranny, yes. and now they're tying it into the terrorism angle as the war on terror turns inward against the American people. The real problem they've got is the threat of a good example. That's what people like Harry Reid are scared about, because they're worried about the strength in numbers that Americans, that the Liberty Movement can bring to situations like the Bundy siege. You heard one of the BLM agents say, you know, you're going to have to bring 10,000 people. Well, they didn't even need 10,000 people. They probably had about 1,000, and that made the BLM back down. Well, so I'll tell you what, Paul, scared. it must have scared them to death to see the Bundy family because that's, you know, he's not a rich rancher, but he is rich with his family. And he's got, I think, 14 children, 40-some-odd grandchildren. They were all very calm, very steady, and very resolute about their freedom and about your freedom. At the very beginning of this, Clive and Bundy said, this is not about the grazing fees. It's not about anything but unchecked power and about your liberty. And that's exactly what it was about. And all of this family that I met, all of them that I saw there were very calm, very resolute, but they were not going to be backed down. And the only people goading violence, again, amidst all these smears, are people like Harry Reid. He's the person escalating violence. I mean, Rand Paul went on Fox News last night and said, karma heads need to prevail, which exact, is exactly what the Bundy supporters did during that standoff. So yes. the only violent rhetoric is coming from their side. And again, they're, they're concerned about the fact that what they would call flash mobs, what we would call activists, were able to dispatch them on such short notice and now actually win crucial battles in the ideological war for the liberty movement, that concerns them greatly. And now we've got economists predicting that 2014, 2015, we're going to see increasing civil unrest in America. And they're concerned about a form of the American spring that's, that's rising in the United States. So that's why they're trying to send a message that this will not be tolerated by labeling anyone that engages in it as Paul, we domestic gotta, terrorists. Paul, we got to go to break. Can you hang on and uh, do the next segment with us, a short five-minute segment? Sure. All right. We're going to be right back. The info war right now is about seizing the initiative and not letting them divide us into competing groups to understand the higher, the broader principles involved. We'll be right back. Thank you for listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. This is Alex Jones for InfoWarsLife.com. The latest in preparedness is now here. An electrically stabilized colloidal silver solution that can be added to both your home cabinet and preparedness pack alike. Concentrated to 30 parts per million in what has been dubbed the Survival Silver Solution. The new InfoWars Life Silver Bullet Colloidal Silver is the answer for you and your family. And it's entirely free of toxic artificial additives that are loaded into many products. The InfoWars Life Silver Bullet Silver is so powerful that it is 
concentrated into a two ounce bottle and is not recommended for extended continual use. This is not a low grade formula. We are working with one of the top laboratory manufacturers in the United States to bring you the best form of colloidal silver using electrical processes within a base of deionized water for your preparedness storage or your home kitchen. Purchase your bottle of InfoWarsLife.com Silver Bullet Colloidal Silver today and find other amazing supplements at InfoWarsLife.com. 